Dragonite, uh, this guy, I, when I play him, actually, I like to play him mid. He's, he can be great mid. Uh, he can also be a very great offlane, offlaner. Uh, build, I would say, is pretty much the same. You can make the same build for mid and for offlane. Mid baby like slightly bit more towards damage. Uh, and that's that's because of the talent tree purely. Uh, on level 15 on the left side you get 400 health. On level 20 you get 20 strength. So pretty much he, he's gonna be made off lane anyways. Whether you want it or not. It's so much extra health. Uh, it's it's like an old centaur from Dota 1. Where he, his ult will just add more and more strength. <clears throat> it's kind of like they took it from that guy and put it into this guy's talent tree. So yes. yeah, it's 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 a pretty pretty tanky hero, like very very hard to kill, especially with the passive. So the let's start with the guy. I'd say we got boots. You always get boots, of course. Now what I like to get is uh, Maelstrom. Actually, I don't go for any funny stuff. I just get Maelstrom to well, like for easy fa easier farming. Uh, also because you will want attack speed anyways, and Maelstrom of course goes into. Mjolnir, later on. The tank speed, it's a nice buff on yourself, on like already hard to, very hard to kill tank with regeneration stuff. <coughs> so, so, yeah, everything, everything you kind of want is already here. Why not? If, if there's illusions, you can clear them with breathe fire, with the effect of this, with the procs of this. Yeah, why not just get it right? You don't have to rush it, but you can even rush it if you want. There's, there's nothing gonna... It's not gonna ruin anything in, in your game. It's it's fine. If you wanna rush this after boots, you can just rush it, and no problem. But one thing you certainly need is blink. You should kind of get it as soon as you can if you're not rushing this. So let's say you got boots, you get Maelstrom. You don't rush me only. You just get blink. Uh, you need blink anyways because you gotta. Unless you dragon form, the range of this is really small. So they gotta be right next to you. So. You, yeah, you don't want to blink in and just stun immediately, do the fire, uh, do as much damage as you can before anybody jumps you, disables you. So, yeah, you kind of need blink. Blink as always goes into overwhelming anyways. So, it's even more tankier. You like it, it's AoE. AoE, stun, fire. Yeah, you get a picture plus this. It's a lot of effects. Now... After that, you'll definitely want Black King. Like I said, it, it's a it's a right click hero. Once you stun and do fire, you need to be able to attack and do further damage. You need to be attacked to get procs for this also. So, how are you gonna do that? You need to get Black King. Uh, you'll need it. I mean, I, I mean, you'll need it every game, anyways. <clears throat> so you should not skip this. Don't make Lincoln Sphere and funny stuff like that. It's not enough. You need to be there, especially in Dragon form when you die, when you do splash attacks. Like like Palafir effect, you just need to be there able to attack. So don't skip blacking. Lincoln Sphere is not enough. It's 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 just not enough. So now you're like running around with those. <laughs> As always, you can go for more armor. You can just get uh, some attack speed, or you can just get Hyper Stone instead of all of this. You just get Hyper Stone and then you upgrade your Maelstrom. You can do that. You can keep you can keep the Maelstrom and get Hyper Stone and go into assault <clears throat> or you can just or you can just actually get both of them immediately like it's depending how on how much code you're sitting sometimes you can just finish an item and you're not even aware of it but yeah you can go hyperstone finish this hyperstone finish me on there it's it's completely fine <clears throat> now some people like getting scepter uh scepter basically gives you a uh, level four dragon form so another form I believe you need to be level 3 though, I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to be level 3 to go into 4, so if you try to rush this, it's just gonna be useless stats, if I'm not mistaken. You cannot go uh, from like, let's say you're level 1, you can, the scepter is it not, it's not gonna push you to level 2, you still need level, you still need to upgrade, so if you're getting this, you should wait until you get level 3, and then it's gonna go into 4. Whether you wanna make it or not. I don't usually like it. I don't think it's that much beneficial. I like like more impact, impactful stuff, like uh, let's say crit. 
why not get some nice crits plus more damage. Uh, some people also like getting uh, edge. It can be pretty good if there's somebody with butterfly or maybe a phantom. You wanna break, uh, break her evasion, kill her quickly. That this can be great. It's also passive crits anyways. So you can get that. You can as well go halberd always. If there's like a nasty right clicker, maybe there's troll, maybe there's faceless void, maybe there's ursa. It's pretty good for them. Uh, since you got stuns, you can stun somebody, disable the right click, right clicker in their team. Uh, also, Senge and Yasha is also a pretty decent uh, item. Uh, Yasha's effect, it's it's movement speed, it's attack speed, and the orb is more stats, so it's completely fine to go this. You also get, uh, what's it called, stat, stat resistance, <clears throat> more health regeneration. Senge and Yasha is also completely fine. Some people like it, some people don't. It just depends on you, pretty much. Uh, also, you can just go even more health, you can make heart. Maybe you just want to be this ultimate tank and just, just just jump in the fight and don't care. Press the black king and just right click and ignore everybody. Uh, boots. Yeah, I forgot about boots. Boots you can just go uh, power threads. But you can also go face boots. Now, sometimes when you're in dragon form <clears throat> and somebody, like stun somebody and they got like some sort of a jump or a, let's say it's Mirana with leap. If you're like here, and you got power threads, you're not just, just gonna be able to go straight line, like she went. You'll have to like circle around everything in your path. And like I said, the stun range is pretty pretty low. So maybe it's just better to get uh, face boots, to be able to just push through any obstacle and stun. And continue attacking if, if you need. So yeah, maybe maybe I should just, just make face boots, because you can't go wrong with this. I mean, uh, there's a lot of stuff to click. Now though, some people don't like that, you have to click the buff, you have to click boots, you have to click black king, you have to click on your blink, you have to click on two spells, three spells if, if it's the dragon, uh, maybe even more if you're playing halberd, or edge, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can, you, you gotta click, but, I don't know, some people are fine, some people don't like clicking so much, so they're just completely gonna skip items like that, but yeah. Now let's see, let's see a talent tree. Damage for sure on the first one. Health. Always health. Uh, always strength. Uh, and the last one, I would say, judge. Look at the enemy team and then make a judgment. Like, AoE stun. AoE stun is great. But they kind of be they, they kind of need to be close to each other. And that's best when they're melee. If they're not melee type of heroes, you might not get any value from this. But then again, maybe there's maybe there's Enigma in, in your team, or maybe there's Magnus. Uh, so then this is this is extremely good, especially if there's Magnus, you can just wait out his whole ult and then just do almost another ult. Or if there's Enigma that pulls them in anyways. But yeah, just make a judgment. If not, if you're if you're gonna be uh, completely like sa on the safer side, you just get more regeneration and armor. Uh, that that's the safe one. This is the the riskier one. This is the safe one. Like much more consistent, no matter no matter who you're playing against. <coughs> so, yeah, I think that's it. Let's just see if I missed anything. Uh, no, not really. I guess hood maybe. I, I don't know if I don't know about hood though. I don't think you need this. I, I some people like to play hood into shroud, but I don't think he needs that at all, considering how much health and everything he'll have anyways. Plus the Regeneration and armor from this. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a waste of money. But yeah, that's the dragon guys. And I'll see you on the next one.